Hey everybody, this is Fully Off and welcome to another Minecraft video. Right, I know I've said it several times before, but hopefully this is... The very last, the very last video about the elevator, uh, the bubble column elevator. So, uh, so here it is. It's the, the I've, I've messed about with it. If you've downloaded the the world download from my website recently, if you saw the post I put on Twitter yesterday, uh, this is an updated version of that. I'll put a link in the description below so you can download it again. But if you've downloaded it already from my website, then delete that save and then download it again because this has got a couple of important updates. Firstly, it's got an extra floor. We now can go to the to eight floors plus the top floor. And also it's got a fail safe in it. Now, I think I mentioned to you, well, I definitely mentioned to you in the past that the only way to break this system really was to select a floor and then spin the floor selector really quickly for no reason. And that would break it. I, I hope I've put in a fail safe to stop that from happening. So now if you spin it really quickly, it resets and, and, and sort of unselects the floors. And I'm hoping that that will stop the soul sand from being stuck out and breaking everything. So far, it seems to work every so often. Even with the soul sand not underneath the water, I still get bubbles in the water, even though the soul sand isn't under there. But it acts like normal water, so I think that's probably a visual glitch and, and not bubbly water. So, so far, it seems to work okay. I've also messed around with the timings at the back. So if you press the call button, um, at the moment, if you press the call button on the seventh on the seventh floor, and then you decide you don't want to go to the seventh floor, the only way in the past, the only way you could do it was to twiddle the floor indicator when the floor was active, which, as I said, is something that might break it. Now I've messed around with the timings, the repeated timings at the back, so now you can press the button again, and you can cancel your selection, and then you can select the floor that you want, and then recall the button. And then you can go in. Uh, what floor? Ooh, what floor did I select? I forgot already. Floor three. And then you can go in like you like you did before. Goes up to the the floor that you want to go to, uh, and that's that. And then select the floor that you want to go to. Press the call button. That cancels the previous floor. And the doors open, and off you go. Now we've I've added the ninth floor because. I've gone back to taking out the slice of the AND gate mechanism that, uh, that selects the floor that you're on. On the downloaded version that's on, on my website, or that was on my website, this was active. So when you selected the floor that you were on, it actually selected the floor you were on. It didn't clear the system. And it was an oversight on my part. I've, I just... I'd forgotten to take it out. So anyway, I've now taken it out. So now by selecting the floor that you're on, so we are currently on the third floor. Let's cancel that. By selecting the third floor, it now, in effect, clears the system. It clears the board. So now you either go to the very top or the very bottom. I've also, on this particular system, I'm also using the American way of counting floors. Even though I'm a Brit and I'm a proud Brit, it would seem that most of you think that the bottom floor is the first floor, even though we don't do things like that over here. If it's next to the ground, it's the ground floor. It seems obvious to us as Europeans, but you Americans seem to think that the floor nearest the ground is called the first floor. So that's how this has been set up. The bottom floor is now called the first floor. So hopefully that'll please some of you, some of you Americans. First floor, press select, takes you down to the first floor, I guess. I, I can see a little bit of logic in it, but anyway. Now this, as I mentioned previously, this will take you as high as you want it to go. Since I've I think I've perfected the the reset system now by using observers and single tick repeaters. Uh, I've been able to 
get rid of the problem that I was leaving pistons, I was leaving slime behind. I've got rid of that problem. So now you can go from bedrock to 250. The only problem is that the push limit of these these pistons is still only 10, regardless of how high you make it. The push distance, the push limit of the sticky piston is still only 10 blocks. So if you, the, uh, the gap between the floors is bigger than, uh, I think it's 20 blocks. Uh, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So if the gap was another four, four blocks, you would have to put an extra sticky piston in there. And it's not difficult to do. You just you just stick an extra sticky piston. You just do that in between the floors. It doesn't have to be near the mechanism. Um, it, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you guys will be able to figure out, figure out how to put in um, an extra sticky piston with slime on it. And uh, so far it works like a charm. So please feel free to download the world download from the website www.frillioth.co.uk. Follow the uh, the uh, link at the top to downloads, I believe it is. As I said, I'll put a link in the description below and, and play with it. And please let me know what you think. I think it's fantastic, but then I would because I built it. I've got no doubt that some of you guys will break it because uh, because it's breakable. I, I, I don't think it's foolproof. If you break it, though, let me know what you did when you broke it. And that way I might be able to go back in again and uh, put in a fail safe to stop you from breaking it. I really would like this system to be foolproof. And also this system only allows you to go to nine floors. But as somebody quite rightly pointed out, as Joy quite rightly pointed out, that if you go into a big building anywhere now, you only go up several floors anyway in one elevator. Then you have to get out and get into another elevator to go higher up. So it's it's not unlike a real elevator in that respect. But uh, I think that if you've got 20 floors in a building, then you can build a couple of these. You know, you build these for the first... Uh, nine floors and go over the other side then build another one it, it would work that wouldn't look out of place in a really nice modern modern building and it certainly wouldn't look out of place on the side of my one chunk farming complex if you wanted to get up the side of that anyway i've waffled on far too long a uh, quick demonstration let me put myself into survival because i've not done that yet i don't think i've done that in uh, in survival and let you see that you can actually go up and down this thing without taking damage. So I've now I'm now in survival. Let's go up to the top floor to start with. Top floor. Press call. Here we go. We. I hope they don't change this. Top floor. First class. Now, if we want to go right back down to the ground floor. Uh, the first floor, it's a ground floor, it's a ground floor, everybody in Europe, it's a ground floor. Go in, the water should stop us from taking damage when we get to the bottom. First floor, no damage. Go to the fifth floor. Actually, I don't want to go to the fifth floor, I want to go to the eighth floor. Ah, hopefully, that sorted it out. And, uh, and not broken anything, which is what the failsafe should do. Eighth floor. And here we are at the eighth floor. Like a charm. Third floor. As I say, I've, I've played with this now lots when I should have been doing other things. Sixth floor. And so far, it hasn't let me down. Apart from, as I say, apart from the times when I've mistreated it. Second floor, you just got to treat it like a lady. Treat it like a lady. So for the sixth time, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And thank you for your comments and your continued support on this little project. Now, 
please download it. Download it from the website uh, and have a look at it. Have a play with it. Try and break it if you can. Come up with some suggestions. I know a lot of you have suggested that I change the water, the stair blocks at the sides. I, I think I mentioned in the the last video, I'm using stair blocks at the side now that are waterlogged that allow the source block in the center, the the block in the, the center of the up column to be turned back into a source block of water. And a lot of you have suggested that I just push a waterlogged stair block. That, that, I don't know whether that was a glitch or a bug or something that was just fixed a few snapshots ago. You can no longer do that. I think it has something to do with the fact that Mumbo decided to make a massive flying machine that just spread water source blocks across the sky, causing absolutely massive amounts of lag because of running water. Uh, and, uh, and, and Mo Yang quite rightly decided they were going to, to not have that happen again. So now if you do push a waterlogged block, the water disappears and you, you finish up only moving the the block, the stair or the, the fence post or, or the slab. So you can no longer push a waterlogged block and still have it remain waterlogged. So I'm not able to do that, but it was a fantastic suggestion and I really appreciate you guys for taking the time to, to send it to me. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please press that like button if, you, uh, if, you, if you've enjoyed the video. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. This is Fully Off and I'm out of here.